What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. Um, so this is day three of trying to get this bike. The first day I was on my dive certification dive, so my instructor wouldn't let me grab it. Second day, my brother was kind enough to come out with his truck after work and I just couldn't find it because basically I was just following my instructor and paying attention to the education I was supposed to be getting, not exactly where we were going. And uh, it didn't work out, so I had to go home. Unfortunately, I felt really defeated. I mean, I can go out and find someone's wedding ring, but I can't find an entire bicycle. So I definitely was on the downside, but uh, went back, looked at the video, and ended up realizing after we came across this box, we ended up going up river again, and I thought we just went down river from there. So I think I'm gonna be able to find not only the bike, but also the scooter today and have some really good luck. But yeah, I'm out here with my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha, Hello. and my extremely dirty dog, River. But uh, I'm super excited and hopefully we can get that bike and scooter today. If we can't get it into the car, my brother was nice enough to let me know that he is going to be coming down later today and we'll be able to use his truck to get that back to the treasure room. So I'm stoked and can't wait to find out what else is down there. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to walk out until I can actually uh, put on my fins and switch. What? What? Where did this come from? I just kicked something. All right, first piece of treasure. I'm gonna hurl it over. Whoa! Not yet. 
mass confusion. Find a little stockpile of bullets. Right, guys just got done with our dive sorry about the wind it's pretty crazy right now but couldn't find the bike and scooter unfortunately I think somebody either might have come back and got it um, in between when I was able to get back here or I'm just completely off track either way I'm gonna go back to the dive shop and have my instructor basically draw me a map of where he took me on that dive that way I can hopefully find it again but today was not a fail by any means I found some really really cool treasures so I'm gonna show you guys those right now all right so check this out i actually found this on my certification dive but i wasn't able to grab it because once again i was on a certification dive but i'm pretty sure it's a cash box um i have to get some tools to get this up um i'm gonna do that when i get home you can see that stopping it i have no idea if there's gonna be some money under that or if whoever stole that obviously did a thorough job and got it all out but you never know so i'm gonna thoroughly check it out when i get home maybe i can even see who it belonged to but i found this right when i get got in the water i accidentally stepped on it a little fin for a kid got seven golf balls today got some trash over here a um, bunch of fishing lures found a phone today thought that was pretty cool i do not think this phone is going to work again it doesn't have an sd card in there either i already checked but uh kind of looks like a burner phone found a vape today got a fishing magnet it's been a little bit since i found one of those but this is a big one i actually found this one out there there's a fallen down pillar to where the old bridge used to be and it was stuck on there 
I actually had to use whatever this is to get it off. I like stuck this part into the magnet and pried it off the bridge. If you guys know what this is, by the way, please let me know in the comments below. I have absolutely no idea, but I always love learning new things about the treasures I find. But uh, the, oh wait, hold on. Almost skipped some cool things. All right, so check it out. I found a bunch of bullets today. And the, uh, the other day when I was on my dry suit certification dive, I actually found a gun. Um, I don't think any of these bullets go to that gun because I'm pretty sure that was a 40 caliber. And this looks to be 22 caliber and I think this might even be 7.62. Um, I might be mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but uh thought that was so cool. All of these were dumped off in like one little area. Looks like someone just dumped their box of ammo. And then this was also dumped by this, which is this uh, the cardboard box that it used to be in. But how awesome is that? I've only ever found one little slug that uh, got spent out of the casing. But yeah, I found a bunch of bullets today. So I was super stoked about that. Um, I have no idea what this is, if it's a little necklace or some sort of brake cable or something, not sure. But the find of the day, check out this drone. It's a Mavic or a Mavic Air 2, which if I'm not mistaken, it's about an $1,800 drone. And uh, yeah, it even has the, what is it, FAA number on the side right here. It's the first one that I found with the FAA number. So I should definitely be able to return this back to the owner. I'm gonna go in there and look at the SD card footage too, because oftentimes they'll accidentally get a selfie of themselves while flying around. And uh, hopefully I can find them that way or by looking up that FAA number. But I am super stoked. I haven't found a drone in a little bit and I always love when I do because I can almost always return them. I've only ever found one drone that I wasn't able to return. But other than that, I've been able to return all all of them and I'm so stoked about this one but stay tuned and hopefully I can show you do you mind sir quiet on set please <laughs> but uh stay tuned hopefully I should show you me returning that to the owner but yeah I had a great dive it's unfortunate that I wasn't able to find the bike and scooter but I'm not giving up on it yet and if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Always helps me get out here, make more videos for you guys, find more valuables to return to their owners and get that much more trash out of the lakes and rivers. Speaking of, I only got one bottle and a little piece of glass, but uh, like I said, I've done three dives out here in like past week. So I've been getting trash every dive I've gone. So it's not surprising that there wasn't that much today. Anywho, from me and my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha, and my extremely spastic dog river, Till next time everybody take care. All right guys, so here's the drone that we found in the river The SD card like every other SD card I found was able to work I got all the videos off of it But the one main difference from this one than the other ones I found this one actually had the crash footage still able to work Usually when I find them the crash footage is corrupted because the battery either pops off before it hits the water or shortly after this one, the battery did not come off and it ended up taking video not only the whole way down, but it ended up taking video the entire time it was sitting on the bottom until the battery ran completely dead. So it was super awesome. I went back and tried to look at it really fast and didn't see anything too crazy, but something was super awesome about the footage, the crash footage when the drone actually hits the water, before it even hits the bottom of the river, it actually sees this giant salmon swim by it. I thought the salmon was almost gonna attack the drone for a second, but it just darts right on by. And I thought it was the coolest thing and just like, what are the odds that it crashes right as the salmon's going by? Yeah, I'm super, super excited. I got it home and as soon as I took out the battery, there's actually two stickers in here with not only the guy's name on it, but also his phone number. So it's gonna be super easy for me to get this back to him. Can't even imagine seeing something worth a thousand dollars crash into the river and thinking I'm never gonna see it again. So I am so excited to give him a call. His name's Steven and here we go guys. Hopefully he answers. All right, guys, so it's the next day. Hopefully he has his phone on now, and I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call again. Hello. Hi, is this Steven? Yes. Hi, my name is Michael Pelly. This is gonna sound kind of strange, but I believe I might have found your drone. No kidding, the one uh, in the river under the Thoreau's Bridge? Yes, sir, the very same one. Merman Mike, yes sir. Yeah, yeah, no, you had found one earlier. I saw the news on at the Rainbow Bridge or near there. But yeah, I lost mine um, about um, back in late November. Oh, wow. Oh my God, that is incredible. So I'll see you soon, Mike.
All right, I look forward to it. All right, drive safe. Bye. All right, guys, he just showed up. Oh, Steven. Hey, Mike. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice Ooh. to meet you. Just say like elbow bump. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Welcome to my treasure room. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate you uh, finding it. Absolutely. Yeah. Would you so, mind if I just got the story again for? Sure. It lost the signal as it went around that concrete piling. Mm -hmm. And um, and I expect, well, I'll just pick it back up. And then I saw this flicker on the screen and this splash. Oh. And then all of a sudden, the you know, I lost the signal completely. And it was like, you have this pit in your stomach, holy crap. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine watching a thousand dollars go into yeah, the river. It was like, uh, yeah, it was uh, so that that really happened kind of feeling. Yeah, right? exactly. Oh my god, <laughs> you know, oh. what am I gonna do? It's like November, I don't really feel like going swimming right now. Oh, I don't blame you, it's cold yeah, out there yeah, right it's now. Probably in the 50s. You've got it all here, I've got your. SD card in here so you don't lose it. Oh, yeah, Throw in cool. a couple stickers for you. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, I'll try to clean it up and then see if I can um, send it back in for warranty. We'll I was gonna see. say, that'd be the best case scenario. Yeah. Because normally the rule is as long as they can get the carcass they, back. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. And that's why people are always just like, hey, I'm not expecting the drone to work, but I really need yeah. you to get that drone back for me. Yeah, I, I'd like to give you, uh, you know, a reward for this. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, I might not end up getting anything from these guys, but we'll see. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I could give you... Uh, it's not necessary. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you, you spend a lot of time out there looking. You, that was like 60 bucks with that... That would be $60 yeah. more than yeah. enough. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. This is incredible. Best of luck to you. I really hope yeah. you can get a new drone because yeah. like you said, you paid for that coverage for that yeah. reason alone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right guys, that was too cool. Steven was an awesome guy. He was so grateful to get that drone back. Couldn't believe that the crash footage or any of the other footage was still on there. And uh, yeah, just super interested about everything else in the treasure room. I had an amazing dive getting that drone along with all the other dives to find everything else. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So take care.